Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and another week of events has started uh, It actually started yesterday already, but let's take a look at it We still have got like, we are still in the finishing week of the Selena skating event And now we have also match gift and gem points and heroes return And a titanium, new offer 2021, which originally was showing something else here in the things But uh, sadly it is actually Villiers so I was wrong, they just gave us Villiers in the seasonal and in this one as well. It's pretty weird that there is not Amalia, but okay, whatever. I'm gonna talk about these things later a little bit more. And there is Vainminer. Uh, I have another video on Vainminer, of course. Uh, I actually have got, you know, videos on most of these things, you can uh, search for it. Uh, if I don't, I'm gonna maybe make one in the next uh, couple of days. And uh, there is Blessing Clover instead of the Power Drills. Alliance Transport Team, which uh, I might actually make a video on as well, if I haven't done so yet. But I wanted to make it with like a breakdown of the actual uh, value of these things as well. And yeah, there's gonna be some some other things, like those things that you can, you know, get like uh, random things in and yeah, for little amounts of money. Lucky Fortune coming as well. But uh, let's just not dwell on this. Let's look at the specific uh, events, at least a little tiny bit. And uh, I'm going to give you some advice for the week. I'm going to start giving like weekly advice, I guess. We are going to see how that goes, if people like it or not. So my current weekly advice is going to be that uh, if you don't have this thing finished, the slides and grinds, you should not underestimate it. Because the radar tasks, you need 150 of them. So if you are behind on the radar tasks, you might get screwed. Because like, you know, you will need to do so many on the last day and you might actually run out of them because you have some limit and stuff. You can have up to 50 stored and you know what I mean. So it's just do not underestimate that if you want to get that free March kill uh, skin, which like I do, of course, for example. Uh, also, there is Alliance Donates, but these are not a big issue because you can actually um, basically cheese them by spamming this thing because this thing is basically unlimited. So if you have the gold, you can just spam it here and get all of them finished. I'm gonna make a short separate video about that as well and call it another trick video, but we are gonna see about that. So uh, similar thing goes with the Match Gift. Okay, so the Match Gift as well do not underestimate it so that on the last day you don't have to do too many things because like you can yeah doing 20 getters this is a question of less than 20 like 10 minutes maybe okay you just send all your marches to the closest uh, to the closest resource send call it back and it's done but you know a trick is also easy but like maybe killing dark forces you'll be get that automatically but you know maybe killing 30 warhammers maybe if you don't generally do them uh, you might be surprised on the last day, etc, etc. You, you know, just, just don't underestimate it. It's some nice rewards for free, so why not take them, right? New offer here. Uh, it's like the same offer as usual, blue titanium coins. No, Amalia, I was wrong. I am apologize profoundly. It's just, I don't know why they don't offer us Amalia. Like, if what, like, it's not, she wasn't even in the seasonal sales where she would cost more money, so yeah, it's just here. But Akatora is pretty nice, right? If you don't have Akatora, this 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 hero is a complete beast. He would be my current 5-star uh, target, but I do not want to increase the amount of um, transfer tickets needed, so yeah. Uh, his exclusive skill also has, like, a hidden effect here, so you can actually check it here. Uh, but it's not that big a deal, I guess, you know, for most people. But it is still pretty nice because, well, it's not that, you know, like, this level 7 one isn't that big a deal as on the newer ones. But, yeah, the fact that the 3 5 is still pretty decent and it's not that super expensive. Like, it's still expensive for level 5, but level 3 is pretty doable. And you can also buy him the skill, though, in the normal exclusive skill store, so never mind that. There is also, as usual, uh, um you know, base effect here, but they want like $70 for it, which is a lot of them, and I don't know which one it actually is, um, so I don't you know, I'm gonna go into that right now. And there is some more stuff here, Just I'm just gonna maybe make a separate video on this, so we are gonna see. I did make one some time ago, but yeah. Uh, this thing looks pretty decent actually, for $5, this is pretty good. Uh, I will make a proper breakdown of this later. And yeah, because it's not really okay. It's not like not that is like the gems. There isn't actually that many because this thing is usually you know 
this thing usually gives uh, uh, under uh, 1000 gems almost always so it's like the average here is like 890 or 820 something like that i don't remember now i did the math uh, last week for some other video but i don't remember it but you do get uh, three component chests here and basically another six here so it's like nine level five component chests for five dollars plus you get some gems plus you get you know uh, you can actually choose something else here if you want to and you get a nameplate so it's actually pretty decent i actually quite like these little packs uh, i mean as far as you know their value goes uh, if they didn't exist at all i wouldn't you know <laughs> i wouldn't uh, complain but yeah because it'd be less things to spend money on and i'm currently not even buying subscriptions but yeah blessing clever is just you know run of the mill replacement uh, you know this thing right it's always every week uh, every month it comes here and uh, when it's not the first like the first one that you see it has half half the value of the things that you had on the very first one at least it was that way the last time i'm actually i'm actually not sure if it's if it didn't change but i don't think it did pay miner same as always very nice event uh, basically because it's free I, I really like this event because it's completely free for players unless you wanna buy the speed ups. But even without the speed ups, it is pretty nice and it just gives you lots of lots and lots of free rewards. Yesterday when I was doing the digging, I got like seventy free rewards here, the instant ones on the right. Very nice. The gem points uh, are pretty nice as well because they uh, you know added some more free rewards to them, and in general, they let you buy you know they let you basically whenever you buy anything for gems you get points and basically they give uh, extra 10 percent value to anything you buy in some cases way more because for instance this thing is worth like 500 gems at least uh, theoretically maybe even more okay this thing here is uh, i'd value it i'd value it uh, depending on how old your account is of course but this thing is worth like anywhere between 400 to 1000 gems let's say because like if you're in the very start maybe even more if you're at the very start of the game and then these things are just absolutely you know invaluable because yeah they just let you pick a rate of fire and stuff this is also pretty nice to have so that you maybe don't have to you know buy uh, if you don't have to get a 30 day one from gem gift for 30,000 gems, which is so it's another way, nice thing to do. Uh, maybe I'll make another video about this thing as, as well. And uh, the autumn escape is another, it's just it's just free, okay? You just get free stuff. It's just, you know, whatever. Just free stuff. Free stuff is always nice. It doesn't want you to do anything other than just log in and claim it. Heroes return, same thing as always. Uh, I think I have a vid I think I have a video and a spreadsheet breakdown of this thing. I do, I think I do. And it's basically not that great, okay? It's not as terrible as I originally thought, if I remember that correctly. But it's not that great either. And uh, yeah, you can pretty much just ignore it. There is just better things now. Unless you want, sorry, unless you want specifically one of these exclusive skills. If you want one of these exclusive skills, then this thing is actually pretty amazing, right? But, uh, other than that, not really. Hercules resale pack. I already made a video about this a few minutes ago. It is complete garbage. This should just be called garbage sale, not Hercules resale pack. You know, just yeah. It's just uh, mm, Hercules garbage pack. Whatever. No, just don't. And we have another pack item swap, which is always nice as well. So yeah, I'm just gonna take these because I am a mechanical master on this account. And we are gonna see what the future brings there should be some new skins i'm gonna make another video on that as well some like another leak leaks video and we are gonna see what happens in the future and don't forget oh yeah there is one more thing here basically the more the more of these uh, thumbs up you get you get extra rewards here on the bottom i originally didn't notice that when i was making video about this event and i don't know if this actually requires the upgrade or not no i think uh, it doesn't because i have it on the other account as well so yeah this is it from me for the like weekly event schedule schedule uh, overview and uh, weekly tips and we are gonna see what we are gonna get you know like on uh, next uh, week or you know like uh, we might get something else actually in the middle of the week we are gonna see 
because these things right they, they often like appear only one day before they actually start even though you know they should be for instance here but yeah we're gonna see and uh, yeah until next time have a wonderful day